Hey, what's up you guys? My name is Freestyle Freddy with Freestyle Living Video and Photography Service. And today I want to talk about the best tripod I've ever owned. All right, so to get started, this is the tripod. It's nothing fancy, but honestly, the light weight of it is what makes it a perfect tripod. I've used this tripod for like four to five years, and honestly, it's worked for everything. And it's the Magnus VT300. So if you're wondering where to get it, I'm gonna go ahead and put a link of that right there in my um, description. So then that way you guys can know the price and exactly where to get it. But just to give you guys a little tips about it, um, it's a fluid head. That's what I liked about it. Um, so it actually is pretty good, pretty silent. So I'm gonna go ahead and get close so you guys can see that. Can't even hear it. And the, the cool thing about it too is the tilt. And this thing is perfect for video. For video, well, I wouldn't say photos, unless you're trying to find a tripod for photos, this is great for photos too. The cool thing is it comes with this uh, plate here, and you can put this on the bottom of your camera, and you just attach it right there on the top, just like this, and then snaps right in, boom. And you're all ready to go. So that's one of my favorite features. The cool thing is it actually goes pretty far. So this is the first section of the legs right there it is but it actually has a second section just like that and it has so this is how high it is when i put it up on those two legs and the good thing is as you can see the height is already here level to my neck but the one thing is sometimes i'm always uh interviewing really tall clients and i need that extra space to go a little bit higher so all you have to do is you twist this knob right here and you crank it up and as you can see that even goes a little higher than me so i'm five six so this thing's probably like at five seven five eight i'm not sure but even then if you needed a little bit more um, tallness all i do is um, instead of having these legs all the way open i just kind of close them a little bit more and I have it just like that. I actually had them closed right now when I was showing you. So uh, that's why it looks so tall already. But actually with them all the way open, it brings it down to this level here. So that's all the way open. And back again, this is all the way kind of tight closed, but still standing. And the good thing is it has a little lock right here in the midway. So actually these legs won't move if you have it locked in place. So just go ahead and twist that piece. See, and the legs are locked. But if you unlock it, opens them up again, and you could always lock it. Yep. So I think this uh, tripod runs about $70, $70 to $80, and it's totally worth it. Um, I've had other tripods, and they were just way too heavy. And um, some of them were really um, a lot lighter than this one. But the problem was that they weren't high enough, and I needed a really high tripod, but something lightweight, and just something that had a good pan with it. And this tripod here had all of those put together. I'm just gonna show you a comparison, kind of something I did uh, did buy that was a, um, a heavy duty one, which I kind of regret. I never use it. I even took off the fluid head from it. And this is the heavy duty one right here. As you can see, this thing is humongous. It's crazy big. I took off the, the head that was on it and that thing was even bigger. But this one compared to this one, you could already tell, you know, the tiny size right next to each other. And honestly, this is good if you're carrying around like even a heavy duty camera, but this one here could hold my C, my uh, Canon C100. And honestly, it doesn't give me issues. Uh, the fluid head doesn't start leaning forward because I know sometimes uh, when you put a heavy camera on a tripod, it starts going forward like this. And this one doesn't really do it. As long as you tighten these pretty tight, you're good to go. You're not gonna have any issues. So just wanted to go ahead and recommend that tripod to you guys. If you guys are um, shopping for one, looking for one, and uh, this one's perfect in every way. The only uh, downside is if you're trying to remove this head, it doesn't actually come off. It always stays uh, stationary to this tripod. So don't think you could take it off and put it on a different tripod, something lighter. That won't be possible. There's no way to take this thing off. So if you're wanting to do that with this fluid head, I don't recommend it. I recommend just buying a fluid head from another um, vendor and buying it there. This is more if you want something all complete put together, definitely recommend it. And so just again, this is the Magnus VT300. 
And let me see if I can go ahead and get that name in there and block my face. And it's right there. Yep. So you guys go on the link down below in the description and be sure to like this video, follow, and you can follow me on Instagram at freestyle living underscore photography. Thanks. And like always, I'm going to read you guys a scripture from the Bible. So let's get to that. This is my baby, Mateo. He's right here. Join us for the video. Say hi, Mateo. Say hi. <laughs> All right. So let's go ahead and get started with the scriptures. Oh, and we got Ethan down here. These are my two kids right here. Ethan and Mateo. Say hi. I'm my YouTuber. Name is Big Kid Toys. Big Kid Toys. Follow them. You can like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. All right, you guys. So we're ready to read the scripture. So I'm going to go ahead and actually read the tab that I put in the Bible. So that way it kind of lets you guys understand why I put this tab and uh, what scripture actually highlighted in my Bible. So it says, how we got the Holy Spirit, John 15, 15. But it's actually John chapter 14, verse 15. So it says right here, Jesus promises the Holy Spirit. If you love me, obey my commandments, and I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. But you know him because he lives with you now and later will be in you. No, I will not abandon you as orphans. I will come to you. Soon the world will no longer see me, but you will see me. Since I live, you also will live. When I am raised to life again, you will know that I am in my Father, and you are in me, and I am in you. Those who accept my commandments and obey them are the ones who love me. And because they love me, my Father will love them. And I will love them and reveal myself to each of them. Yeah, so basically, you know, Jesus is uh, promising the Holy Spirit. And right in the scripture that's actually saying that is, it says, um, And I will ask the Father, and he will give you another advocate who will never leave you. He is the Holy Spirit who leads into all truth. The world cannot receive him because it isn't looking for him and doesn't recognize him. So I highlighted that scripture because it says how we got the Holy Spirit because Jesus promised it to us. So now we have it. Well, thank you guys for watching. Stay blessed. Don't stress. Don't worry about the steps. Have faith in Jesus. Peace.